Hello everyone, it's me, Wokey here. Are you ready for another fucking adventure? I'm here again with Dragalia Lost to cover the other units in the Fate. Fate. In the Fire Emblem Heroes crossover. A Fate Grand Order crossover would be fantastic. At least you'd be able to pull the units. Anyway, I digress. I'm going to be showing off the boy Alphonse, the free to play unit for this event. He is a sword unit, he's an attack unit, and as you can see here, he is a 40 level 80 80. I did not get him to 50. Uh, which I'll get into why I didn't. Let's go over his skills. First of all, he has Blue Radiance, which increases the user's strength by 10% for 10 seconds and deals light damage to the enemies directly ahead. And then he has Soul, which deals light damage to surrounding enemies and restores uh, the HP inflicted, 3% of it to HP. It caps at 15%. And then uh, his co-op ability is Dragon Haste, similar to uh, Marth. And his abilities are Last Burst, which is when he when he drops below 50% for 10 seconds. No. Buff Strength by 50% for 10 seconds when HP is 30% or lower. Only once. And then he has Curse Resistance and Skill Haste of 6%. Which is pretty good. Um, being Curse Resistance. Okay, so. And then the other thing is that because... He comes with, he has his own weapon, which is the, wow, I can't pronounce this at all, the Falk Wagner, which is a sword. Now, there's two types of swords in Dragalia Lost, two types of weapons. One give abilities and the other give a skill. This one gives ability when he dips below 50% HP, his strength is 50, 15%. Increases strength by 50%. So whenever he dips down below, that means he's, with these two combined, he gets extremely strong at uh, low levels. But then he loses it. Hmm. But I think he loses it if he goes he goes up high. At least this one he loses it when he gets up higher than fifty percent. Anyway, that's what he's got. And let's get into an actual fight. And as we're waiting for a fight, I'll kind of get into. Let's just keep calm and look so. I'm sure everything will be <sighs> Sorry, let me breathe, everyone. So the first thing, okay, let's go into Dragon Trials. We will be doing the Zordak which is where I believe he excels most at. So fire has the fun ability. If you saw the Marf video last time, uh, the previous Marf video, Marf gets the benefit of being stun resistant and all his events are stun related. Dark isn't the same way. Dark is either half curse and half poison, I believe. If we so let's first of all, wow, we can already, it's a team of all. Let me ready up. It's the elf army. So a lot of people are using elf because one, they're starting the game, and two, he's a free five star. Cause you see five stars on a unit, you automatically go, let's let's fucking use this guy. So let's start with him. So the good thing is, is that with curse 100%, that means that none of this I can get up in here, get up in this dragon guts, and actively try and hit him without any fear of having my skills. So what Curse does is that Curse makes it so you can't use Dragon you can't use your abilities. And that really sucks, obviously. Go let me dodge that. And uh, when you're Dark, when you're, uh, sorry, excuse me. When you are farming for, when you are farming, there's the poison. So he does both, which I forgot. Let me do that. He's gonna be dead here. As you can see, Alphonse has no problem dealing with his dragon. It's pretty simple. Um, but the good thing is, is that because he's curse resistance, you don't have to play super like dodgy. Like I use, um, for example, Juliet, Julieta, in this stage a lot, and it sucks that your skills get sailed almost immediately. So he's really good for this stage, just to kind of go like, all right, let's get in here. Let's like just literally mash on the beat stick until we're done. And he's fantastic for that. Now let's see how he does in the other event. Now you'll excuse me. It's been a while since I run the Imperial Onslaught. And also, I should say, uh, just to kind of get into it, as you can see here, the Advanced Dragon's Trial, there is not one yet available for um, Light to fight. But once Light does get one, it will be based off of this fight. 
So the fact that he can not be cursed is very uh, beneficial. That means he might be a candidate. I'm going to say might because we'll get into it a little bit later. But let's quickly do an Imperial Onslaught and show him off here. Now this one I haven't done since... <laughs> I don't think when's the last time I had to do Imperial Onslaught for Dark, the game launching maybe? It's been a very long time. Oh, this might not be good. Oh, we don't have a healer, but whatever. We should be fine. Um, I believe that this stage is, I can't remember if it's Curse or Poison. It might be that the main uh, damage thing is Poison. If it's Poison, then Al Alphonse is going to run into some trouble here. But it should be fine since we have a defense boost from Julieta as a support. Okay, let's see. Alright, so far so good. And now these are a little bit tougher to see. Yeah, okay, now I'm poisoned. So that means you have to play a little bit more conservative conservatively. You can't be stupid just running ahead like I was a little while ago. You have to actually plan your moves. Oh man, not doing super good. Not doing super good at all. Like I said, it's been a very long time and I got disconnected from the host, which is fan-fucking-tastic because that means I'm not going to be able to win this. I'm going to give up. Sorry, everyone. But there was no way for me to win that with the fucking team I had. There was just no fucking way. So what happens when you disconnect from the host, you lose all... Um, let me be the host for this one. How about that? When you disconnect from the host, AI takes control of everyone. And for certain quests, that's not bad. But uh, for that one in particular, for IO, it's very, very bad if the AI takes control. Because the AI can't dodge like you can, and the AI can't go dragon. And a lot of those events kind of rely on the fact that, at least if you're like newer at the game, you really do need to go dragon in order to get shit done. Alright, we got two Hildas. We got two healers. She's gonna change. If we combine our strength, Perfect. The path will open. The, you kind of don't want two healers for the most part because it makes it super fucking slow. We're not here all day, you know what I mean? Anyway, so poison is the main problem with this one. So that makes Alphonse a little bit harder to use here. And by harder to use here, I mean you can't do what I was doing in the previous Dragon Trial, which was going ham and just acting dumb. But thankfully, the poison can be kind of counter counteracted. So if you get too low HP, you always have your skill to fall back on for sure. It does. You can't use your dragon, which is unfortunate. But now let's actually get this thing done. Uh, okay, doing so far so good. And, the, and a good way to like counter this, which is something I should have probably looked into, is to using um, Worm Print that resists poison. So that way you can just run Alphonse with no problem. And that's a smart thing to do. That's something I didn't do because I'm not smart. Okay, so thankfully this always kind of starts the same. I'm not going for the big guy just yet. I'll go for the big guy now. It's harder for me to go for the big guy because, as you can see, I do a little bit of attacks and then I immediately get into the vicinity of... Okay, yes. Perfect. He's now in my direct line of sight. That means I can... That was a bad use of that move. I should have used that move when I was either low on HP or there was more people near me. But I should be fine. Oh, thank God for our lightning buddy over here. Who's putting in some work against this guy. Oh no. I got him. Damn it, I got poison so I can't use my dragon right now. Which is unfortunate because my dragon Gilgamesh would be pretty damn useful right now. And I also have worm prints on me that are... Okay, it's time to go Gil. Okay. The best version of Gilgamesh. Uh, that includes the Faco version, which I don't like, but whatever. It's neither here nor there. Perfectly good dragon, and now he is beat down, so now everyone just can just bum rush this dude, fucking kill this guy. I want this man dead. Dead AF. Okay, okay, no. And. <laughs> it's a whole mess here, which is this is what happened. This is why I said I couldn't beat it with that uh, AI setup, just because during this stage, a lot of people come out, and it's best just to. Oh, let me throw a good job. Yeah. He did good. Thank you for showing him off. So as you can see, Alphonse, once you get to my level, 
has no real issue here. The only problem is poison is a bit of a stickler, which can prevent you from using your moves, which prevents you from, I don't know, killing shit faster, which is very important. And when you're kind of getting used to the game, uh, little things like stopping you from using your skills is enough to completely throw you off and just kind of screw you over. But thankfully, uh, the dragon trial will be based off of this. So having curse resistance is really good. But if I remember correctly, I think Zorak, 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 that's the dragon's name, can both curse and poison depending on when he hits you. But it's again been a very long time since I've needed to grind anything for dark. So it can be kind of a problem. So with that all being said, that would make it seem like Alphonse would be a pretty good build up for the future, pretty uh, future proof. But let me first show the problem with Alphonse, which is a problem that something like I didn't get into it with Marf, but Marf was so good it didn't really matter because Marf was able to be better than the previous five uh, sword unit that was on the field, um, making it kind of like null and void so it was all fine since they were both i believe stun resistance but anyway here's alphonse is has a lot of competition because light is just stacked like crazy so here's the competition that he has in his own um bracket so to say so he has odette odetta or however you pronounce her name which is similar to alphonse except for she has a natural here uh heal on freedom ring and then she also has liberty slash uh, which is another just good attack move. It, she, because she's a 4, she doesn't have as high dragon haste. That's what I was trying to say. Excuse me, everyone. And then the one bummer about her is that if her HP falls below 70%, she gets much weaker. So she needs, she needs to stay there. She's also poison resist. And then Albert is also... Uh, he's This is the actual legit competition Albert has. He has lightning roar, which makes him able to cast a lot of lightning and then he has this move right here which is like he becomes electrified and then any of his four strikes can cause paralysis which is amazing to have when you're doing a lot of the harder quests like a lot of harder quests it's really good to have statuses on the enemy and so when you look at albert and you look at uh alphonse which alphonse is just He's a beat stick. He's built to be a beat stick, and so he excels at being a beat stick. But someone like uh, Albert can be both a beat stick, and then he can also cause paralysis. And then also, in general, he's also a pretty damn powerful powerhouse because, like, for his four strikes get forty percent more damage. And then you can, and then see when he's electrified, he gets twenty percent even stronger. He's just insane. Um. The one thing that say, I'll say is good in the benefit of Alphonse is that he's curse resistant, where Albert is poison resistant. So you can technically use him. We can use one for the dragon and the other one for uh, Io. And then Raymond. Raymond is Raymond. Raymond does his best. Raymond is old. But here's another problem that Alphonse kind of runs into is that light is freaking stacked. So as you can see here, we have Julieta. We have... Uh, and an L, and then there's Lucretia, and then there's a bunch of other ones that I'm not using. So already these four, and then there's Hildegard, and thankfully Hildegard is not an attack unit like Alphonse is. But my main thing is what I'm trying to say here is that Alphonse has like a lot of like competition. Even someone like Fritz, who is a dagger unit and a four star, he has an ability that lets him um, stun the enemy three times and that's an aoe stun with his daggers and that can be extremely useful for fights that kind of require it and right now there's no fights that require it that's where i'm kind of like hesitant on alphonse i think he's at a perfectly good unit for free to play my only question is once some harder content starts rolling around maybe he'll actually start to fall off a bit but for now feel free to train him up he's different from a lot of other free-to-play unit in which there were usually free-to-play units don't get uh quests so he got a quest that was literally like let me see if i can find it real quick yeah raise his levels raise his mana circles so it's good to actually have him do all that stuff because you get all this like just stuff 
just all the stuff to actually by getting him fully unbinded in the mana circle and doing all that good stuff so yeah that's uh that's alphonse and uh, let me quickly just accept my warmite while we talk a bit more that's alphonse in a nutshell uh i think he's a perfectly solid unit i just kind of need to see how he does in harder events but the harder events for light aren't here yet and the only ones that i can really think of are the ones in the past like the circus event which is not here at the moment so it's hard to judge alphonse on things that aren't in the game currently but no. all right so that's my basic thing with him i think he's a pretty good unit he's a pretty simple beat stick but in terms of free to play units really good so that's another video for Dragalia Lost. I hope this is somewhat uh, helpful. Sorry that's a little bit rambly. It got a little bit rambly there at the end, but I'm still trying to, in my mind, perfect how I want to do some of the more Dragalia stuff. Like, I still got Veronica and I still got Fjorm. But if there's any other Dragalia stuff you guys are interested in or want to hear my thoughts in it, I will say again, I didn't say it firsthand, I am by no means a... Like, I'm not trying to say what I say is law. This is just what I feel. So I hope it helps. If you have differing opinions on Alphonse, tell me what you think about Alphonse. How about that? If you play Dragalia or if you're new to Dragalia, tell me what you feel about him. Do you like him? Do you like how he plays? Is he fun to use? All that good stuff. So, oh, and this is also one of the warm prints I was using Hero Arrives and Striking Overlord. So anyway, that's it for this Dragalia video. Uh, join me next time when I do another video. Either it be Dragalia, Dokkan, Legends, Kirby, whatever. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Have a nice day.